Guys, Sai and Ryan here. Welcome back to Project Left. Ooh. So, where are we today, Ryan? We are at Thornet Park uh, in Gainsborough and we are at the European P Ping Fitting Centre. We are going to try some new golf clubs. Yes, let's oh. go. Down there, that's where we're going. Just in there. So yeah, it is a pretty miserable day, but we're gonna go inside, try out some equipment, and see what my left-handed bag should look like going forward. Really looking forward to this because I haven't had a proper fitting since my Callaway fitting, which was only a month into Project Left. Obviously now with my new, very proud 12 foot cap. Yeah, I'm gonna be interested to see. I've got some ideas of what I'd like, but I'm definitely gonna go with an open mind and see what the guys have to say. To be fair, they've both been pretty, pretty straight. Right, there we have it, my ping fitting. That was an absolutely incredible experience. I highly, highly recommend anyone who's even remotely serious about their golf, get yourselves down to a proper fitting center, either at your local pro who has some choices and some shaft options and some head options and some ability to give you a fitting. Or if you wanna go for the full experience, get yourselves down to one of the big brand manufacturers, go and test their equipment, just for the experience, even if you're not thinking about buying equipment, I highly recommend experiencing that. So I've owned many different ping clubs over the years and been for various fittings. I've had a set of I2s, I've had, I've had a set of S59s, I've had a set of I200s, and they were pretty much all white dot, one inch longer than standard, and S400 shafts. So True Temper Steel S400, slightly heavier than the standard S300, but one inch longer and white Lycode. So that was kind of where I thought I might be. Ping's fitting process, they give you a static fitting to give them a starting point and then they work from that. So as always, my static fit is the same left-handed and right-handed and I come out nowadays on the borderline between one and a half inch longer and green Lycode which is slightly flatter, one degree flatter than white, or white code and one inch longer than standard. I sit right on the button between those two fitting options. And interestingly, I came out this time at one and a half inches longer than standard and green lie code. And a lot of that is to do with, obviously I'm stood the other side of the ball, so my swing is different, my delivery is different. Those guys who've watched the channel for a long time will know that I'm a massive divot taker right-handed, and I hardly take any divot at all left-handed. And that delivery, that angle of attack, is completely different, therefore it warrants different fittings. Also, I control the face quite well with my left-handed swing. It doesn't open and close very much during the process, so I can hopefully, fingers crossed deal with that half an inch longer than standard and that extra distance that will give me as long as I can continue to hit the middle of the club. So the fitting started with hitting a few seven irons and it was definitely clear that S300 shafts, slightly heavier, a lot of the other steel shafts that they had on offer was definitely the one to go for. 
I wouldn't go S400 because of that extra half an inch on the length, the shaft would become too heavy. And again, because I'm not quite so handsy, then this S300 is probably more where I need to sit. I'm not a massive shaftoid, but I definitely noticed the difference between the weight of the shafts and that quite heavy shaft felt really nice to me and I hit the ball really, really well with it. So that's definitely what I'm gonna stick with. We then moved into driver and to be honest, I didn't hit driver very well at all on the day. I didn't gain anything really on my current driver and that was more down to me than anything else. We all know that driver is probably the hardest club in the bag to hit. Certainly I find it the hardest club and I came away with a fitting but probably nothing I'm gonna go forward into the ordering process with. I think driver needs to be left for another day. However, I did hit their three wood extremely well, almost up to the length that I'm hitting the G2 driver. And I don't find that length is a massive issue for me. So that's where I've gone. 14 and a half degrees standard head with the Project X Evenflow 7.0 shaft in it. So stiff shaft. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's a stiff shaft, it, it's black in colour, the head's black, it looks really nice, it looks really clean down to look at the ball, and I hit it really well. So that's definitely where the top end of my bag is sitting at the moment. I don't really know where the hybrid needs to sit until I get the longest iron in the bag, in situ. So I was hitting the 7 iron at 168 carry on Trackman. I'll bring that back to 165 for my averages when I'm actually going out playing. So certainly at least a club longer than I am now. Now a lot of that is obviously down to the shaft being longer in the 7 iron ping set as opposed to my 6 iron. So very similar kind of numbers. Just that extra bit of loft would be hopefully a bit more... I'm not going to use the word. Would hopefully be a lot easier to control that directional aspect. Then down into the wedges, looking at pitching wedge going around about 135 on the track man on the day. And then I'd go 52 and 58 because I do like to play those three quarter and half shots. And I certainly don't want to confuse and muddle things down the bottom end of the bag. So pitching wedge 52, 58, wide sole, lots of bounce on the 58, narrow sole, not much bounce on the 52, just to give me options on turf and how the ball sits when I'm playing those delicate shots around the green. Still a bit up in the air about how I want this bag to look. I certainly don't want to be carrying too many clubs and giving myself too many confusing variables. Those of you know I'm carrying 10 clubs at the moment plus a putter and I would like to try and keep that around about 10 clubs. I certainly think I can get down to single figures, low single figures with 10 clubs in the bag and I want to continue developing my skills rather than having any confusion as to which club I need to hit. I want it to be very, very clean in the decision making process. So guys, I hope that was interesting. I certainly enjoyed the ping fitting. I now need to go away and decide what I'm going to purchase purchase, have a conversation with Ping and see what the rep can do for me in terms of price because despite being a pro and despite getting some good discounts on equipment, I still have to pay money for this. I'm not going to be giving it for free and therefore whenever you need to purchase, you need to make some decisions. That just about kind of wraps it up for today really. Other than to say my name's Simon, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Project Left. The next stage of the process of the new clubs is coming. I cannot wait. I'm certainly going to be trying to order these irons. And then once I get the iron set, then deciding what I'm going to do at the top end of the bag. Oh, I also had a putter fitting, but I'm going to save that putter fitting for another day. We're going to talk about that on another day because that was very, very interesting. But for today, all I need you to do, if you've got to the end of this video and you have enjoyed it, please do us the honor of hitting that subscribe button. It's free of charge. It means the world to us and it will help us move on in our YouTube journey. Also, thumbs up button, that'll be down there. That gives YouTube an indication that our content is worth watching. And if you don't want to miss out on any of our other videos, there will be a bell icon down there. Hit those three up and we'll see you down here on the channel next time. Bye-bye. I've got to get up now. <gasps>